I'm Jenny Lynn Knopp with your Daily Fix for January 18th, 2016. Here's what's happening today. The Imagineering division of the Walt Disney Company has a new president. The New York Times reports that as of last Friday, Bob Weiss now carries the prestigious title. Mr. Weiss is known for his leadership roles in a couple Disney Park projects. Most notably, though, he served as Imagineering Executive Vice President for Disney's Shanghai Resort. It has served him well as he will now commandeer one of the company's most crucial departments and during a pivotal era, no less. As he takes the reins, Disney Parks will see additions being made in Hollywood Studios, Epcot, Animal Kingdom, and Tokyo. It's a big job and somebody has to do it. Apparently, that somebody is Bob Weiss. He doesn't have much time to adjust to his new position, though, because work on the redesign of Hollywood Studios is moving forward. Disney recently announced another handful of closures in the park. Lights, Motors Action? Cut. Monsters, Inc. Meet? Evicted. Honey, I Shrunk the Kids Playground? Out of here. Studio Catering Company? The party is over. It will all be ancient history as of April 2nd. Not many tears have been spilt so far, but prepare yourself for some real waterworks because it was also revealed that Disney's iconic Earful Tower will eventually be coming down as well. A moment of silence, please, for the park that once was and will never be again. Some might believe this is the work of the dark side, and that might be the case. Either way, the Force is awakening with Star Wars Land on the horizon. But more imminently, Disney announced that Kylo Ren is coming to Star Wars Launch Bay. Staged on the bridge of his First Order Star Destroyer, this new meet-and-greet is scheduled to open in February. Chewbacca, a rival of Ren and member of the Rebellion, went on record about the new arrival, saying... <laughs> There's no good transition after that, so I'm just going to come out and tell you that guests can now modify their own advanced dining reservations. Dates, times, and party sizes can now be adjusted through MyDisneyExperience.com. There are a few limitations, though. Modifications cannot be made through My Disney Experience app, and modifications to restaurant choice cannot be made at all. So, not perfect, but still handy. Speaking of handy, it might also be handy to head to the Diz today. Addressing annual pass holders, Stephen Porter has written an article that gives guidance for more experienced Walt Disney World travelers. Kaylee Chase also offers a helping hand with a few tips for making the most of Disney's photo pass service. Seems like everyone is full of helpful tips today. Over on the Diz boards, posters discuss fun ways to put a smile on the face of cast members. It's pretty common for guests to look for ways to give some magic back to the people who give it day in and out. To hear those ideas and kick your acts of kindness into high gear, look for that thread in the Theme Park Attractions and Strategies Forum on DizBoards.com. Coming up later today on the Diz Unplugged, the Dreams podcast broaches the subject of river cruises. John and Kevin discuss their recent Viking river cruise in France and explain the difference between a river cruise and an ocean cruise. To hear all about it, you can find that episode on YouTube.com slash Dreams Unlimited Travel. And for folks heading into the parks tomorrow, we have your weather forecast. Orlando, you asked for winter and it has arrived. With partly cloudy skies, you are looking at a high of 57 and a low of 39. Anaheim, I can't say you'll have it any better. You will have more mild temperatures with a high of 68 and a low of 54. But grab an umbrella because, tut tut, it looks like rain. That's our Daily Fix for January 18th, 2016. For links to all we mentioned, visit wdwinfo.com slash dailyfix. I'm Jenny Lynn Knopp. Enjoy your day.